Hello guys. Welcome to 17th session of Razor View Engine Tutorials. In this session we will make use of underscored view start.cshtml file in previous session we are make layout file and use it in other page by using layout property. This is the same example of layout from previous session. Create a new action. And make view for that which does not inherent from our layout. Remove layout property from top. We will modify our layout. Add action link to newly created view. Save and click on view in browser and cl click on link to page 4. You can see that it does not provide layout that we are created. If we want then we need to set layout property on this page as well. Means we need to add this in all of the views. If we have large amount of views then it's very time consuming and make difficult to manage. For example if we want to change layout for view then we need to open all of the view and modify it. Instead of this we can use underscored view start.cshtml file. Which is present in root of view folder. In which we will specify layout property. For that I am going to copy path from our previously created pages. And all of the views within that folder will use that property. So this will eliminate lots of time. Right click and view page in browser. If we need to use different layout from which we are specified in this file, for entire folder. We can also create this file within subfolder and views folder. For example if all views within layout controller. Right click and select add new view. With name underscored view start dot cshtml. Remove html code from this file. And change layout property value. This file will overrides values provide in underscored view start dot cshtml in root of view. Even we can specify this layout property in individual view files too. It will overwrite specified in both underscored view start dot cshtml file. We can also set layout based on some conditions, for example different layout for logged in user and viewer. Let's see what we are learned in this session. Underscored view start dot cshtml plays an important and a tricky role in razor views. Underscored view start dot cshtml is used to place common UI logic across the views in the folder where it is located. We can have n number of underscored view start dot cshtml files in a project, but each should be placed in different view folder. Dash next slide dash. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me.